How's it going guys? CryptoBud here for today and today's video is going to be one of a very different video I think because uh, I'm going to deviate a little bit away from a short-term trading mentality and into why NEO is really the ultimate wealth generator or any coins that actually do something similar to this and uh, I get this a lot especially now that we're um, I'm a, a, we're doing the uh, trading academy I'm getting people coming in and asking me, uh, crypto, but what exactly should I sell Neo? Should I buy Neo? And I'm going to tell you guys in a little secret right now is that some of these cryptocurrencies, who knows what's going to go in up or down, left or right? That I don't know, but I know one thing for a fact that Neo is really one of those very few coins out there that are going to, if, if properly done, um, correctly it's going to be a ultimate wealth generator for many many people and uh, I feel very strongly about it again because there's just so much things to, to talk about for Neo and some of the things that are out there right now are that they're running and developing is going to be um, big in the next couple of years all right so here we go title of this video is going to be why neo is a wealth generating coin and is not one of those that you just want to trade in and out and really what it comes down to is the road to true wealth okay so let's talk about a couple of things and first of all i want to say that you probably are one of these individuals or maybe not um, that wants to have stability in your portfolio for cryptocurrencies I know when I first started out um, I didn't know left from right I was just buying things that were out there I was trying to get things around the news and just rotating in and out and over time I, I got burned a bunch of times and so what I quickly realized was that you can actually treat cryptocurrencies as almost a an asset class in itself and not just allocating it specifically to Bitcoin but allocating it as a portfolio strategy that you can augment to your equities to your bonds to any sort of asset class you have and so what I do is in order to reduce the volatility and also reduce the drawdowns like we having today in the last couple of days where everything sells off I usually have what I call my long-term portfolio investing and this is usually for people like for myself who I don't want to trade in and out of positions like I don't have the time for that I have a day job I I don't I, I can't be looking at the computer all day trying to day trade this thing trying to figure out how much I can make or how much I can uh, if I'm gonna lose everything the next day and so what I've come up with was this strategy that have I've kind of implemented over the several couple of years and and months as I was in crypto crypto investing was that if I have an optimal long-term portfolio, I can kind of sleep at night that I'm not going to have that fear that the next day when I wake up and I open up my Bitrix account, the whole thing is went to zero or went ha cut by in half. And so this allows me to feel comfortable with my positions, especially if I am heavily invested in crypto. Now, the long-term portfolio is going to be this. It's called the rotation portfolio. What it really is is that you take your top four or your top five. In this, my case, I did, I did top four because these are the coins that me personally, I really, really feel comfortable with. I think it's a long-term investor. Um, I believe that cryptocurrencies are here to stay. And to be in these positions is are basically your top 5%, your top 3% coins are up there. And the first one I want to talk about is BTC. BTC is the one here in lime green here. I've allocated 25% of my portfolio in BTC. And the reason why I do that is because although I really love BTC, what it stands for, there's a lot of coins out there that are now challenging BTC's dominance. And in the next five years or 10 years in crypto, I think it's going to look very different from what it was five or 10 years ago when BTC was the only coin out there the other one i've added in is going to be ethereum which is the one in dark green another 25 percent because i believe that ethereum although it does have its problems it almost has a virtual monopoly on the platform smart contracts and i believe it's cryptocurrency version 2 uh, that came right after bitcoin and really took cryptocurrency by storm um, just this past year and I think Ethereum is here to stay I don't think it's gonna go anywhere and if anything it's going to continue growing and continuing to scale so I think long-term holding five ten years Ethereum is still gonna be here um, 
The other one I li really like is going to be Litecoin, and Litecoin is a hedge against BTC. One of those coins that if BTC is not doing well, Litecoin can always step in and fill the void. And Charlie Lee did a great piece, well actually not a great piece on CNBC, but he uh, he has a vision of what Litecoin should be in the realm of Bitcoin. And I think that Litecoin is definitely silver to, to Bitcoin, but because it's got so much recognition, it's got so much good tech on underneath it i think it's going to be one of those coins that's going to stick around for a very long time and actually if you go back to market coin market cap litecoin has always been up there along with everything else so i think it's one of those premium coins and the last one is going to be my newest edition which is going to be neo and uh, i'm going to tell you right now is that neo has has been very very solid um just this past year and i think that continuing forward neo is going to be one of those coins that you're going to be holding for a very long time and i'll explain why in a bit and and again a lot of people may disagree with me because they're saying well neo is really all hype and it's all about the pr and all these other things are going on in china and so the thing is that neo comes in a very special type of class so if you think of bitcoin if you think of ethereum and litecoin uh, Neo comes in along with the Ethereum kind of class and for me to promote this coin up into my long-term holding it's got to have some very very good value all right so with that said keep that in mind whenever you're assembling your own portfolio think about how you're going to assemble something where you're not going to be trading in and out you're going to be holding for the long term okay so let's ask the first question is what is really true wealth um, in my opinion and and from maybe from your experience as well i think that true wealth really is when you have passive income it's when you don't have to work anymore for the money you don't have to sacrifice your very limited amount of time in this world and all of us have 24 hours to work all of us from the guy down the street who doesn't have a job to the ceo and the multi-million we only have 24 hours of time time is really the only commodity that we all share that we all are born with and we're all given daily and if you can maximize that time you will have true wealth the person who is on the street who works uh, 80 hours a week and only earns minimum wage versus the ceo who only works 24 hours but gets multi-millionaires i mean that that that's a huge wealth difference and when i talk about true wealth is trying to maximize your time without having to work as much as or inefficient to get that same amount of money or more now how does cryptocurrency fit in all this well cryptocurrency fits because it's one of those asset classes that has the ability to do what we call proof of staking and I think that's one where people did not really understand or understand how to put together in their own personal financial life because proof of staking really what it is is that it's almost kind of like a stock you get paid for holding a position and very similar to the master notes like Dash and some of the other coins that give out some sort of payout. But what makes proof of staking very interesting is that as the network begins to scale up, um, the rewards begin to grow exponentially, very much like, um, like I said, like stocks. But the only difference here is that there is a limited cap on the amount of coins, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's really where the new type of coins are coming out have a lot of value because not only are you playing the appreciation of the of the coin but you're actually getting something back in return i think for me that appeals a lot i think of these as dividends um and i know it's not a fair comparison with the equity markets because again your equity markets are shares in the company this one really isn't but the fact of the matter is that you're getting some sort of um wealth for it for a very low entry point is actually makes it very interesting the other one is it, the capital appreciation, as we already know, conjunction with the staking, it makes things a lot more valuable. And the other one is basically the idea of having minimal effort with maximum reward. And I think everybody tries to do this on a day-to-day -day basis, right? You try to get into work. You try to be as efficient as possible to maximize your work. Businesses do that all the time. And so if you can find a cryptocurrency that can do that, um, that's where the true value is five or ten years from now not necessarily the price of the crypto but what the crypto is going to be um, in the long run now let's talk about some FAQs on why I'm doing this number one if you're one of these individuals that ask the question and again I, I've been getting this a lot so I think it's important to kind of share with everybody some of the things that 
uh, I've been getting so that we can kind of talk a little bit about it and why that's the case. The first question is, should I sell NEO now that NEO's t tanking? From NEO went from, I believe it was $60 or a couple of week days ago to now like $30. It's almost cut in half. Should I sell NEO? Uh, the other question is, will NEO go lower? I mean, I, I bought NEO at $50 and I'm stuck with it. Should I just dump it, sell a loss and come back in? Um, what price should I buy NEO? Um, what about the news events that are coming up? Um, is there another catalyst that's coming up? All these questions are great questions. Obviously, they relate to back to your portfolio and back to your gains. But what I'm really trying to emphasize is try to stay away from these questions because these questions really refer to this idea of short-term gains and not looking at the longer picture. And the longer picture is, again, wealth generation, not necessarily quick gains that you can make, you can get definitely with re the recent Neo Pump, 50, 60 percent, you know, like two or three days, and you could be a millionaire, uh, especially if you go all in. However, really what it comes down to is these are the four questions that maybe you should be thinking about or consider as you're investing in NEO. Number one is why is NEO valuable? Why do people want to buy NEO? And for me, it's basically that wealth generation effect. What is the long-term sustainability for NEO? What are some of the things that NEO would offer five or 10 years from now that would keep appreciating in price, just like Bitcoin did? And also Ethereum. Ethereum actually is fairly young right now. So I think we need to give Ethereum a little bit more time to see if it can reach that same level as Bitcoin. But I think eventually it'll get there. Um, what do I get currently for NEO? What are, what are, if I invest my hard earned money in NEO, what do I get from it? And the last one is, will NEO be around next year? Is it going to go bankrupt? Is it going to go to zero? Is it just a big pump and dump coin? And so if you ask these questions, I think it becomes very clear for why I put my long term holdings. And so let me kind of explain that right now so that perhaps maybe you'll have a little bit more confidence in the investment itself. Now, NEO did a great job of rebranding. August 10th was a phenomenal date. I expected NEO to completely correct and go to half, you know, $10, $5 after this whole pump. But after researching NEO again, they revamped this 180 degrees off the charts. And they did a fantastic job of not only changing their website to just something more professional, but they went on a huge PR campaign out in China and in Japan and everywhere. And I think that is huge guys because right now as you already know cryptocurrency has the problem of use cases but when you have a, a company that is building an infrastructure so large and they're able to rebrand this very quickly and they're able to put their money where their mouth is i think that's that's something to, to really really take a look at considering now take a look at their websites neo.org they have they already established their three desktop clients the neon city of zion which is their developer not not Neo's developer, but another developer. They also have the Neo client and the, the, the Neo client on the website, and then they also have the Neo GI. I tried all three of them, and they work great. Um, and so originally, when I did the video about Ant Shares, I was complaining about that they only had one client. You couldn't really extract the gas and whatnot. And now it's really easy to do. I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit how easy that is, but. Um, it's really easy. You just go in there, you put your, 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 your private keys and you click on gas and automatically does it. So if you want to, you want to store your knee, your Neo, I'd suggest you try this one called a neon wallet. And what that one does is that it, it's really easy to use. It syncs immediately on the main net, um, versus the, the one for the desktop client, which takes a while to kind of sync and you get your gas automatically. So by doing this, they really allowed people to just, you know, go in there and say, you know what, it's really easy to stake for the gas. And also it's secure, it's on your desktop, you don't have to worry about the exchanges and whatnot. And so I, I really give them like 10 points for this one. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. I, I went ahead on this one, this is called Neo to Gas. It's a website to calculate how much gas you're getting for the current price of Neo and gas. And so I just kind of did some calculations here. And uh, just to kind of make sure we kind of hit home the point, if you go ahead and put down, let's say you have 5,000 NEOs for whatever reason, because you bought NEO at $5 and uh, you're sitting real good right now. Um, if you go ahead and do that, you're going to actually generate in USD dollars, right? On the actual, on the white paper, they were advertising 13%. So you're, you you would get basically on a $195,000 investment right now, currently at current prices, assuming that you bought it early, you will be earning um, $27,000 a year, a year. Now, Again, the white paper is a little, it's a little different, excuse me, because 
when they did this calculation, I think they had to modify a couple of things or whatnot. So the actual dividend right now on the main net, and, and again, this kind of fluctuates a little bit. It's 9%. That means you are earning $18,000 if you sell the gas at current prices. And if the gas holds up, which I think it, it should, you're basically going to be earning $18,000 on a 25, let's say you bought NEO at $5 and you bought 5,000 shares for a $25,000 um, investment, you would be making your money back in a year. I mean, the, 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 the concept of this gas payout is amazing. Now, again, obviously the gas payout can change year to year, but even within a year, you can make your money back and then some. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you go into this website, this Neo to gas website, and you do the calculations a little bit, you do the math, right? If the projection is that Neo is going to go higher, you're not only going to get the capital project, you're going to get the capital appreciation, but you're going to get the gas. And the gas is really, right now, if you take a look at the price of gas, right now Neo is at 39 when I did the snapshot a couple of minutes ago. Gas is 32. It's trading at parity with Neo. And so what's interesting is that you're getting free, almost like free Neo in a way, and you can use that money to buy more Neo, and then it kind of compounds itself. Um, if you have only 100 shares, let's assume, you know, you only bought 100 and you bought $500 worth when it was at $5 or whatever it was, you're still going to get um, a 9%. So the reward here is is scalable as more as you get more neo obviously. So the more neo you get the and assuming the price of gas follows this even though it's only 9% you're going to be making more than a lot of people are making in the United States on, on minimum wage. And I don't know in the stock market of anywhere where you can get a 9% dividend assuming that you know, you're not getting a lot of risk. Now, granted, there's a lot of fluctuation in the price, but if you're a long-term investor, that shouldn't matter. So the point I'm trying to make here, guys, is this, is that Neo is offering a very good value proposition right now in terms of the gas. And I do expect them to continue doing that payout. And, I, and, and as more companies begin to get on the platform and begin to use gas, gas is going to become a very expensive commodity. And um, they've talked about gas reaching up to like $100, $200, but they can always change the, the decimal points and you can use fractions of a gas or whatnot. But what's interesting here is that they've done a, such a great job of enticing long-term investors here for this specific coin. And I don't know any other coin that has not only have the team and has this ability to think this through carefully, but rewarding share, I call it shareholders in a way, uh, it, it's, it's amazing. And, and I think, I think this is where the wealth creation is. And so again, when Neo was at $5 and we we're all talking about, it, I was talking about a channel, it was $9 Neo. And, uh, you could have gotten a thousand shares for, let's say $10,000. And, you know, you kind of do the math a little bit here, you know, and if Neo holds, then you're going to be really good. So as Neo drops in price, um, it's, it's an opportunity to get more coin because that's basically what's going to end up happening here. Okay, now let's talk about the dividends. Why does it even matter? Well, number one is there's a couple of catalysts that are going to come out in the future. Number one is that the gas payouts are now daily. So they pay you daily versus like stock dividends pay you on a quarterly basis or in some cases yearly. So you can always sell the gas to buy more NEO or to pay whatever you got to pay your bills or whatever the case is. And so it's kind of like you have a, you're sitting on a golden goose that keeps on laying eggs, right? Um, Binance exchange for fiat or more for Neo. So right now, um, Binance, sorry, not Binance, <laughs> Binance, you can always exchange it for fiat and they're going to have a, a USDT later on, uh, pairing and you can always use the gas to basically buy more crypto. So it's almost like, I, I can't even, I can't even tell you how, how great this is. You can sell the gas to get fiat currency or sell the gas to buy more NEO, sell the gas to buy more Bitcoin. And it's not costing you anything. It's just basically sitting there and it's generating gas and someone's buying it. Who's buying it? You know, the companies who are using it the, the, in the network. Um, the price will exchange. The exchange will soak up more NEO. And, and in September, it's going to be ICO month all over. It's going to start this whole train of companies building upon the neo network assuming that they do what they're supposed to do obviously and the holders the long-term holders like me i mean i'm gonna we're gonna hold on to neo because it the payout is just so great and even if it goes down i'm making accumulate more and then the payout's just going to shoot up because as people drop neo because it's not going up 
I mean, I'm just going to keep on buying more and more and more, and that's going to stabilize that price. Now there's one caveat to this whole thing, and that's going to be the inflation risk. So right now there's about 50 million NEO uh, tokens out there. They obviously have 100 million, and eventually they're going to scale up to 100. So in terms of the inflation, this second year that we're at right now, it's going to be a 30% inflation. So more NEO is going to flood the market, right? Just paying their development costs or whatever they're going to do. And it's going to put a little price cap on NEO, and it's probably going to go down a little bit because there's more NEO tokens out there. Um, but as you go down the list by year six, you're going to be at zero percent. So inflation, assuming, you know, we last that long, which I think if Bitcoin is any indication, I think we can probably or Ethereum, hopefully Ethereum lasts that long as well. So at some point, you're going to have zero inflation and you're going to have a expanding NEO network in the in Asia. Now, to give you just a fair comparison, Bitcoin's inflation was 4%. Uh, Ethereum is at 15 right now. Uh, Litecoin's at 10. So these numbers are, I would say, comparable by year three, year four. So with that said, I mean, you want to get back to this part. But by the time we're at year five, year six, guys, I mean, Neo is probably going to be at a thousand, two thousand bucks because um, it's just going to scale up so much. And so you'll be paying, even though you have zero inflation, you're going to be paying a very high price for Neo. And so that's the reason why I tell I, I, I'm so excited, but at the same time calm about it because I think that as people are dumping their Neo to the 20s, to the 30s, to the teens maybe, um, the payouts are going to be just so astronomical for the gas. All right, now let's talk about the price action here real quick. Right now, everybody's panicking. Everybody's panicking, selling Neil, sell Neil, sell all you want, whatever you want to call it. We had this really nice consolidation right here. I, I, I still, I kind of look back at this chart and I think I'm going to frame it and put it on my wall because, um, it was such a beautiful chart. And unfortunately, now the price has run up. So it's gotten more expensive, obviously, because people are now very, um, aware of it. But what you're finding right here is that we got to work off this, this little consolidation pattern. We want to get one of these things going on again. So when people ask me, should I buy Neo here? Should I buy not here? If I'm a five, 10 year investor, I want this thing to tank hard down to $5 so that I can go ahead and buy more of it, assuming nothing has changed. If I'm a long-term investor again, which I am, I want this, I want to buy this one right now. Now I did sell a bunch of Neo out at 11 bucks. I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, I did do that. But right now, again, I'm accumulating some more because th these are good times to kind of pick up Neo again. Now, if this thing changes for whatever reason, let's assume, for example, Neo says, you know what, we're going to change the payout for gas or, you know, sorry, the ICO thing just went down the hill. Then obviously this, all this entire video goes down the toilet. So, I assume that this is all on the assumption that what they're saying is true and what they're saying is the fundamentals have not changed. Now, with that said, it's interesting that you have a bunch of price consolidation right here. You have a bunch of candles. You have a nice run up. You have a lot of volume. So the value proposition here for NEO is very, 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 very good. Um, even though it has fallen pretty hard from its all time high here of, I think, whatever it was, 60, 60, 70 dollars, whatever it was at one point. Now, obviously going all in would not be the best move here because you don't know if this is going to collapse even further. The best scenario for me would be that NEO trades sideways like this because that way I can keep on buying, buying, buying without having the account drop and at the same time earning gas while I wait for the massive pump. And that's what I'm waiting for is another one of these huge candles where I can maybe shave off some profit, buy some more NEO, enter in, get more gas, use more gas to buy more, you know, so, so you know how that works, right? You're using the gas that you're accumulating right now to buy some more NEO as the price drops. And I think for me, that's my strategy. And I wanted to share that with you because a lot of people are missing that idea that NEO should not be one of those coins that you're trading in and out daily. The price moves like here are very nice and very good and very, very profitable. Um, I mean, again, if you put a $10,000 or $20,000 position and you automatically make 20000 in a day, sure, take the profit. But you are going to lose coins. The whole game here is to acquire as many coins as possible because the ultimate game plan is the dividends, is the, is the gas. And if you sell everything for fiat, you're going to have to re-enter later in and get less coins. 
even though you have more money, right? Um, and so I, I, I clearly remember that day, you know, I was pressing that buy button for a five dollar neo seven dollar neo nine dollar neo right and i was just going ahead and buying 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 and uh it was just like and then when it doubled you know to 11 i was like really happy and then it was going up you know and i was like ecstatic because neo really ran up but the people who are buying right here i mean they understood that concept of dividend dividend payout and appreciation so anyway the bottom line I'm trying to say in a nutshell here is that NEO, I'm not going to do any price predictions. I'm not going to tell you what price target's going to go. I'm not going to tell you how low it's going to go. I don't know. I mean, I can go to $10 for all I care about. I don't care if it goes up to 1000 5000 Sure, if it goes to 5000 you know, I'd probably stop making videos at this point. But the point I'm trying to make here is that it's the gas. The gas is what is going to provide value for this NEO cow. And the gas is going to be the one that's going to generate massive, massive amounts of wealth. I'm not talking about short term gains, something where you can buy a Lambo, but something where you're going to actually be able to retire and potentially um, make financial your financial dreams come true. Um, and so anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope that you guys um, uh see kind of what i'm seeing and if you know and if not then you can always day trade and swing trade neo neo all day long but uh, that's mine so crypto butt out have a great day have a great weekend and uh enjoy the crypto world because it never sleeps <laughs>